What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Here we are with Geralt and the dancing Yalmar here. I want to check in with Yalmar because when I clicked on him, he actually has something that is new. I checked in with Sarah. She had nothing. And I would like to check in with Croc and see what he has going on. But the goal here is to get over to the Child of the Elder Blood. I actually just want to fast travel to that point. And I want to do it on camera. So I was going to go over there, but it's kind of... I don't know if once we get into that flight point area, we are going to trigger any kind of cutscene. So let's just go ahead and start. Look at him. Ah, Geralt. <laughs> How are things? Yalmar is getting so fucked up, man. You and Ceres getting along? Ah, as ever. Daggers drawn and at loggerheads. Must look something nasty from the side. But all in all, I love my sis. So her becoming queen of all Skellige, it's changed nothing? Tried to give me one or two orders, but I do believe she's done with that now. All right, we'll take it easy, sir. Farewell, Uncrate. I like you, Yamar. You are fucking so awesome. He's going to keep on throwing people at the Nilf's friends. Eventually, he might actually make a dent. Yamar, you care if I go ahead and steal? Probably not. All right, well, let's go check in with Karak. Like I said, Cerus didn't have anything, and. I don't believe the what the Shoot. fuck I was that? About the Did you see that? Something was floating. I know I seen it. Anyways, I don't believe Ermian would have anything at this point. We've already checked in with him after last mission. Be gone from here. But this is probably I guarantee, you know, I'm thinking about it is we could probably head over to the other Jarls like uh well, maybe not Lugos anymore, poor fella. But the one on speaker rog, what was his name? Wanted to talk. Maybe he didn't want to talk. Eh. See ya. See ya, crack. What the hell was that guy's name? When we did the uh, possession class with Ceres? I bet you he probably has stuff too. Whoa. Oh, it's nothing. Alright, well, I'm gonna head over to the island with Siri. Let's look at the map, though. This little island here. I totally forgot to go and check this out. The thingy-majiggy over here. I will at some point, before we actually end it. But the Pali Gap Coast, let's head there. Well, here we are, just right into a cave. Entrance, right immediately. Oh, you can see Siri and Yen inside there. Let's read the journal, though. Travel to the island where Avalok's laboratory is located. Siri pulled Geralt aside for a confidential heart-to-heart. -heart. She confided to him that Avalok had a hidden lair, a secret place that not even Siri, his star pupil, and a long-time traveling companion had been allowed to visit. Intrigued, Geralt decided to enter this secret lair and find out what the seer was hiding. The most important part of any conspiracy is for the co-conspirators to trust each other fully, and Ciri's revelation had cast a shadow of suspicion on Avalok. Geralt knew light must be shed on this shadow before it proved too late. I don't know if Avalok is hiding. I feel like yes, I feel like he's hiding stuff, but... I feel like Avalok has been truthful with us with the stuff that he said. I think him hiding things he just ain't talking about, the things that he... Maybe his ultimate goal here, and what the hell he wants, he's gotta want something more than just being a friend to Syria. There has to be something more. Is he the one that wants to... Maybe do this for me and... He'll be the one that... Remember how in the books he want to have Auberon? Mate with Siri, have a kid. Maybe he's gave her an ultimatum like that. That's came to mind, and I think that could very well be true. But I'm kind of hoping not. I'm kind of hoping he's just doing it because he genuinely cares for Siri in the games. But I feel like there's more. Friends, we uh, we should get our torch out. Mushroom picking. Hey, girls. Don't mind me. Entrance is very well protected. I believe we'll find something interesting inside. How will you lift the barrier? Atlan Kirk's inclusion should do the trick. 
Remember the spell? I remember you teaching me. And to think I thought you an overbearing cold shrew at the time. Now, now. This is no time to get soppy. <laughs> overbearing a shrew. Hey, girls. Anything going on? Not the Yennefer, not the Siri. What's not the Siri? So, any incriminating letters? Closets full of skeletons? We've not even opened the door yet. It's a highly complex magic barrier. Let's try. Yappa Ligon! Well, there you go, Yen. Did you get it? We've awoken the sentry. I'll take you. <laughs> Come on, Siri. Me and you. Time to whoop some ass. Elementa, where's Hangman? Just in case. Let's do... Thunderbolt. Come on, mother effer. Do your thing, Yen. Watch yourself, Siri. He's wheeling and dealing. You get him, girl. I'll put my trap down. Ow, ow, ow. Take it easy, sir. It hurts. Get him, Siri. Oh, give me this. Get off this. There we go. The traps are so good. Come on. Get over here. Watch out, Yen. He is going to hit you in the back of the head. Britons. You see Siri wheeling and dealing friends in her in her outfit. She looks so cool. Looks like twinsies with girl. Speaking of, speaking of outfit, I put Yen's original outfit. I think I like that one better. I do like the new one, but I feel like the original just really looks good. I actually like Siri's when it comes to the um the DLC special character alternate appearance. I actually feel that series is the only one that I really love. Pretty cozy. Doesn't look much like a lab at all. That proves nothing. We must look around. It's a bit low, isn't it? Rummaging through his papers. You wish to come, my dear. Portrait of Siri, I think. No. That's not me. Where's the scar? It's definitely you. Hmm. Really captured you. Sure Avalok's only interested in you for your magic abilities? <laughs> Very funny. It's a thought, Siri. Seriously. It's most definitely a thought. Oh, he better have some books to read in here. Honestly, I'm kind of, uh... Look, Geralt. What are we looking at? Explore Avalox laboratory using your Witcher senses. And then it says talk to Yennefer. Shall we explore first? <laughs> Didn't know he had a sweet tooth. Didn't know he had a sweet tooth? We'll talk to Yennefer second, I think. Let's explore first. Perhaps this was not a good idea after all. Why do you think that? I mean, we're finding something, but do you really want to know? She might not want to know. feel like I've walked into somebody's bedroom. You may actually have. Talk to Yennefer. Do we talk to Yennefer first, though? Before we keep going? Explore Avalok's laboratory. Let's talk to Yennefer first. Oh. Where's this taking us? What's up, Yen? It seems someone was literally just here. Avalok's on the shit, we know that. An assistant, maybe? Oh, maybe. Really? Avalok's assistant, maybe? No. Somehow, it doesn't seem like Avalok to have one. Hmm. A distillate? Smells like... Verbena. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha uh -huh what? No, nothing. Sometimes you really get on my nerves, you know. Herbs. Not very incriminating. Wait. 
We've not examined the entire laboratory yet. Explore Avalok's laboratory, friends. So someone is here. Maybe Avalok is putting a spectral image of himself out there. Maybe not spectral, but maybe he's putting some kind of image. Wait, is this the way we came in? Sure is. Gullum out here dead as hell. But maybe Avalok is using an illusion on himself and then coming here at times? It's hard to say. Well, I'm happy we talked to Yen first because we will be going down here and finding out what the hell is going on without talking to Yen. Rhiannon, I'm a vet. Well, what were you saying? Damn. She was speaking Elvish. Yen. Oh. Genealogical chart of the Enhani Care, the Elder Blood, from Laura Doran. To me. You never showed me the full version. I had no idea Viedmont of Eden was an ancestor. Was he the one who punished his daughters with a hot iron? Or the one who had his own father's eyes gouged out? Him of the daughters. My, even I'd never seen the full version. Seems Avalark has analyzed all the parts of Lara's gene, even those we thought extinct. Only analyzed? He's only analyzing? Really believe that? If he's anything like our mages, I seriously doubt he's standing back and observing how Lara's descendants are doing. I don't think we'll ever know if or how deeply the elves have meddled in the gene's mutation. Did you have a hand in... in what Geralt mentioned? The work of those human mages? Of course not. Just tell her the truth, Yen. It's always better to tell the truth. Does she? Did she though? Does she have hand in it? I don't know. But it always is good to tell the truth. Had enough of this? Let's look at his notes. Yeah, come on. Let's see what doodlings he's drawing in the in the corner of his notes. Let's look at his notes. Gods. He spent over two centuries on this. He was the first to study Lara's gene. Volker? Hmm. Some entries about Ciri. But it's here, later, that things get interesting. He actually tried to cultivate a genetic mix like Ciri's. But one excluding the human line. Meaning what exactly? Uh, that I ought to be looking about for giant jars holding my siblings? Don't be foolish. Avalok never got that far. Apparently, all his experiments ended in failure. You are unique. And that's why we've the wild hunt to contend with. Let's ferret on. See if we can't find something even more interesting. <laughs> she is not liking this. I'm sorry, Siri. It's a lot to take in, I know it is. Let's see what Avalok's really planning. We sure are. Man, he really went full force, friends. Look, he even has where they were. I guess where they were born, possibly, or where they are. Get out. Avalok is definitely an interesting one. Explore Avalok's laboratory. I get it. Look at this picture of him. He's got a picture of himself in here. <laughs> what do you get a picture of yourself for, man? I mean, it's okay. You love yourself. You love yourself, Avalok. That's all fine and dandy. Before we came down. Damn, I wish we would have got what Siri was saying. She was saying something in elder speech, I felt like. But we didn't even really get that close though, friend. Yen, what the fuck? Are you over here too? How the hell did you get over here so quick? Oh look. There's a uh perfume thingy, Majiggy. Hmm. I'll sure know their fragrances. It's no lilac and gooseberries, but it's something. Hmm. Mirror standard. Might have expected a hidden portal. A hidden portal? Perhaps this was not a good idea after all. You'll be alright. We got this, Siri. 
I know it might be a lot to take in since you trusted him, but... Oh. oh somebody's definitely here. How did you get in here? Who are you? We mean no harm. We mean you no harm. I care not at all why you're here. Get out. <laughs> you. I remember you. From Tirnalia. Remarkable. I thought all elves looked alike to those of your race. If it's Avalach you seek, he's not here. I know. And yet you come here. What for? To spy on him. He tries his damnness to save you every time you do something stupid. Is that not enough? What can you possibly know about that? You'd be surprised. He's told me a great deal about you. For example, Siri, let's go. For example. Like what? He said you shed Lara's features. I don't see whatever it is he sees. It seems a bit like trying to drink water from a mud puddle. But I imagine that belief somehow helps him with his task. What task? Do you think he trails you everywhere for pleasure? Even I grow ill at the sight of you. Bitch. It's incredible how those like you still believe you're superior to humans, in any way. She's no human. She's a degenerate half-breed. To have no choice but to use something like that? It's humiliating. Jealousy? Another word, and I'll... What? You'll change nothing. She must do what she must. Then Avalach will finally be free of her. What the if he hates me so deeply, why didn't he tell me to my face? I honestly think it's more or less she hates you very deeply, Siri. I think she's jealous. She's jealous because she brought up the fact that Avalok said Siri shares features of Laura Doran. Avalok is obsessed with Laura Doran, friends. That's not. That's fucking obvious. He's fucking obsessed with her. Didn't actually believe her, did you? He that important to you? Didn't actually believe her, did you? Siri, you didn't actually believe her, did you? She's, uh, personally involved in the matter, that's clear. What of it? If they despise me so, they should leave me be! Siri... What? Do you fear I'll level this place like I did Care Morn? Shame I can't do that at will because I'd really like to now. Calm down, go for it. Go for it? Fuck this place. <laughs> Hell with this place. Level this fucking place into the ground. Just don't kill us. The greatest fuck your laboratory. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah. That was great. There, that's better. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Clean up on our three Avalok. He's gonna be so pissed when he comes in here. Oh, inconceivable! What happened? <laughs> did Yen do that? Yen, did you do that? <laughs> Me, Siri, outside the laboratory. Hold on here. What a fucking bitch that elf lady was, man. I can't believe that. I think it's jealousy. I really feel like it's jealousy. And I was on board with Siri to <laughs> go for it. I was really on board with her just leveling this place. Fucking tear this place up, just, you know, try not to kill her. <laughs> what was this lady on about in here, man? Jealousy, friends. Ooh. Tales and legends about humans. Yen was about to whoop her ass. To Lathe and the Evil Witch. No one in all of Tirnala knew how to help Talaith remove the evil spell cast upon her brother. Overwhelming despair clouded her judgment and she went to see an old witch. She forgot the sage's warning that the old woman's heart was black as pitch and foul as carrion crawling with maggots. The old witch lived in a cage in the waste surrounded by poisonous vapors and venomous vipers and toads. Talaith went there even though her pure heart cried out for her to turn back. As she approached the cave, she smelled an odor so terrible she almost fainted. She had no idea what it was for she had never been near a human before. She overcame her disgust, thinking all the while about her brave brother and asked the witch for help. And what will you give me in return, my dear elf? Screeched the witch. Anything, you ask. Give me your voice, my dear elf, and I'll lift Liad's curse. Talay thought about how she used to sing lullabies to her little brother and began to cry. But she gave the witch her beautiful voice all the same. The old woman grabbed it in her crooked talons like a small silverfish and tossed it to her cat. Now give me your hair, my dear elf. Only then will I lift your brother's curse. Talay sobbed but agreed, and the witch wove a thick net from her hair and hung it from the trees in order to catch birds. Now give me your eyes, my dear elf, or I'll never lift Liad's curse. Talay loved her brother very much and so gave the witch her green eyes, and the witch sewed them onto a dirty dress like precious stones for ornament. And she started to laugh. Only then did Talaith understand that the witch would never lift Liad's curse and all her sacrifices had been for nothing. But she could no longer cry. Oh, how she regretted not having listened to the sages, who tell so many tales of human treachery. Talaith was petrified with regret, but her pure heart continued beating. When the old woman bent over her book of spells, Talaith's green eyes read along with her and in this way Talaith learned it was the witch who had put the curse on her brother Liad. She read along with the witch further until she learned how to lift the curse. And so she caught fat robins with the net the witch had woven from her hair and fed them to the witch's cat. Purring with delight, the cat agreed to follow her back to Tirnala. There it told the sages the whole story about Talay's stolen voice and they recognized that it was true. The evil spells cast on Liad and Talaith were reversed and the evil witch was drawn and quartered. Interesting book. Alright, Avalok. Teaching that all human witches are devilish in a way. Probably. All right, well, I think that's it. I would say that we got everything. We really, tra I want to trash the place more. I really want Siri to level this place into the ground. I mean, I was hoping not for like the big outburst, but yeah, it looks like, it looks like it was way worth it. <laughs> Fucking trashiness, inconceivable, darling. Can you believe this? By the Laura Doran, or whatever he, he would say. I don't even know what Avlock's gonna say. Nava looks like obsessed with Laura Dorn, friends. That's fucking obvious. And I believe it was like that in the books, too. 
But the thing is, um, the elven lady, the elven lass, she is pretty jealous. She's really jealous of Siri. Hey, girls, what's up? Let's see what Avalok's read up there. Ain't planning nothing now. We'd wrecked it all. Must we return to the boat right away? Something else you want to see? Not here. On Hindusfjall. In Lofoten. I met a young man, Skjall. And I'd like... What is it? Siri. Skjall is dead. Damn. The Wild Hunt. Everyone? No one survived? Skjall died later. You sure it was him? You'd met him? I was there. I saw his body. Will you visit his grave with me? I'd like to... to say goodbye. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go with you. Oh, most definitely, yeah. I'll go with you. Thank you. Could you open a portal to Hindusfjall? I can. Meet you there. Let's go. Let's do this. Come back soon, all right? Mm -hmm. See you. He deserves a proper burial, friends. I hope that's what we're doing here, because they his body's still probably left in the fucking cave down there. I'm so happy we're doing this. Wow, I really am. Because Skull, he deserved better. Let's look around. Should be a relatively fresh grave mound. Thank you for coming. I detest graveyards, especially wandering them alone. Let's look together. Don't like graveyards either. Let's look together then. Let's look around together. Come on. Lasse, son of Njord. Olaf, son of Ova. Inga, daughter of Chortnir. Damn it. He's not here. Skjall has no grave. Gerald, I shan't leave until I bury him. Think, the body. What could have become of it? They didn't burn it. Save that honor for kings and heroes. Doubt they left him in the garden, too. Hmm. Uh, bastards. What? Beyond the village, there's a pit. They fill it with sheep taken by Blackleg. Crabs pick at their bones at night. That's so terrible. You motherfuckers better move along. What are you doing? What you should have done long ago. We're burying Skjall. Burying Craven? You defy the right of the elders. Be gone. Leave this place. You defile our laws. Why down your laws don't bind us? Lower your voice before we need another grave. How can you defend him? Craven's place is in the ditch. Skjall saved your bloody lives. The Wild Hunt was after me. Had Skjall not led me away then, why they would have reduced Lofoten to ash? What would the Spectres be wanting of some lass who... I am not some lass. And anyone who so much as touches this grave will learn that the hard way. Nay, hey, none will disturb it. Desecrating graves... Well... It's the only thing elders punish harder than fleeing the battlefield. And what you said... I can't know the truth of it. The gods will judge Skjall now. Damn right. We were right to come. I was deeply troubled. You 
have no idea. Well, they shouldn't spit on his name anymore. Let's go. He deserved that, friends. He really did. The poor guy, man. Whoa. Crazy deer. Together? I've got something to tend to. Together. Back to the boat. Mm -hmm. Well, there we go. I feel like that's a good, um... That was good for Siri. Skull meant a... Skull meant something to her. I like that. Skull meant something to me, too. I feel really bad for the boy. He don't deserve that. He didn't deserve that fate. They tore his name from the tails and stuff. Skull is this nothing. I don't believe that. He's the only one that really fought in that village. Well, there we go. I would think that we probably... What's up, Siri? Anything else? Got a minute? Of course. Nothing. I should go. All right. We'll talk later. Friends, I just don't think we have anything else. We can look at the map here. I don't really think there is much else. I'm thinking we grab a boat and go attempt to do some of this quest. We have a lot of time left here, so let's go ahead and knock out some of the other quests. I'm pretty content. A lot there was we were discussing in the comments about the there is possibly a few more explanation points on the map there's something around the crosswords here maybe we'll jump to something around the crosswords see and there was something around palisade as well that we should check out let's check out them two things and then we will think about starting this quest because i don't want to get too far into this quest i would like a whole episode for it so we can just take it all in well, let's go about talking to the ladies and stuff first, see how everyone's doing. I'm happy we got some resolution for Siri there. I'm happy we wrecked the hell out of Avalok's laboratory. Hey, Avalok, you got quite a... I never doubted you would. But why did you? You might have just asked me. To hear you reveal all about your experiments with the Elder Blood gene? Unlikely. I've hidden nothing that could be useful in our struggle against Eredin. As regards the Elder Blood... You're all aware Siri is exceptional. I am alone only in knowing to what extent. Or maybe you're just obsessed with her. I'm obsessed. I don't think he's obsessed with Siri. I don't know anymore. I think he's doing it for another reason, but I don't think it's about being obsessed with Siri. I don't... I don't know. Geralt. Geralt? Take it easy. Have a good one. Thanks, Yen. See you later. Toodles, have a good day. Avalok, your assistant or your girlfriend, she's kind of an asshole. Yes, Geralt. Went to your laboratory? Sure did, wrecked it too. Went by your laboratory. I trust you did not make a mess. Didn't mention you were the NL Elves' chief source of knowledge about Ciri's abilities. I didn't mention many things. Fortunately, they're no longer important. Your experiments with the gene, Elder Blood, that's not important. I pursued those studies to protect Ciri, to protect Lara Doran's blood in whomever's veins it courses. Ran into someone at your lab. Maybe this is all about Laura for you. I believe you. Ran into someone at your lab. I want to say this, but I want to know what the hell the thing is with Laura Doran and him. Ran into somebody in your lab. Geralt would probably call her a bitch. He would probably say, yeah, she's a nice lady but she can be a bitch I don't know let's ask about Laura so maybe you're hoping to gain control of Laura herself after all these years Laura is dead my only hope is that Siri will fulfill her calling and survive but so long damn it there were so many interesting ones I want to listen to all of them hey man you got anything else tell me about the other ones yes Geralt take it easy so long. Just thought I'd ask. Just thought I'd ask. What's up with Fringilla and, uh... Margarita? You guys chilling? Yes, Geralt. Nothing. So long. Fringilla ain't got no dialogue, friends. <laughs> Nothing at all. Geralt, what can I do for you? 
Farewell, Rita. Have a good one, Rita. All right, well, let's go about oh, looking like for these sailor. extra Kill quests in Skellige. There's also one that was mentioned of one out in the ocean somewheres. Somewheres uh, on a little island by the giant toes, maybe over here. But we got the stuff that was on this island as well, and we got everything on here. The only islands I could think it would be on were these little ones. So I am going to do some searching and... Because I really just want to, I have a feeling that this next quest is going to be it, friends. I don't know if there's going to be anything after that, besides the end game, end game. So I want to pack all that into one episode. I don't want to break it up. But let's go around looking for more of these explanation points and see if we can actually get them. The white-haired one. Who is he, I wonder? A warrior. Plain to see. Just what we need. Come over here, traveler. Well, here we go. We found one. It is over in this nook, this road here, that we definitely did not go up. There's a road over here as well by Palisade. I don't think we checked out this area because I'm pretty sure when we... Well, maybe this is... See, this is a cave here. This... I'm trying to think of all the roads that we did. I know that we ran from the Druid's Cave. I'm pretty sure we ran here. This is the Magic Explosion. And this would be... Because this is where we came in for the Magic Explosion. We definitely checked this out. I don't think we checked any of these roads out as well. So I want to check that out because... Well, there, like I said, there was mention of something by Palisade as well. I don't know about the one out in the ocean, friends. So, let's go to this one. What do you need? You aim to enter the crypts? Maybe. Why are you here? Came here to cut nails. Nails? Of corpses. Don't you know? Wraiths use nails to build their cursed longship. So you're hoping you can make them run short of materials? We would if we could get in the crypts. But there's ghosts inside. Would you tend to them? Hell yeah, why not? Fine. I'll see what I can do about the ghosts. Peace disturbed. Let's go ahead and mark that. I love these explanation points. I'm not going to root for all of them. I'm just going to go for some of the ones that's on the top of my head here that I do remember being mentioned. Because I want to... I think this is the only episode we'll actually do this. Because, honestly, friends, I want to keep some of these possibly for my next playthrough. Give me more things to search for. From here on this first blind playthrough, I feel like we did really good. And these are the only ones that I kind of can remember that was brought up, so let's just go ahead and take With care of them. papers like that, it's no wonder he wanders the crypts. <laughs> Sun must play and blind him. Come on, take it easy. Peace disturbed. Girl was surprised to find a group of women hanging about outside the entrance to a crypt on the Isles of Ard Skelly. But not as surprised as they were to see a witcher. The woman explained they had come to clip the nails of the dead, thus depriving wraiths of shipbuilding material. The weary Geralt might take advantage to the opportunity to loot some grave goods. They asked him to drive off the ghosts, keeping them from entering the crypt. Alright, well let's go in here and whoop up the ghosts. We'll probably need Spectre Oil. Let's get... Thunderbolt, baby! Get in here. Let's get in here and whoop some ass. I... We... Wow. We definitely would have missed this cave, huh? Come on. Let's go, Spectres. Do we cat it up? Let's cat it up. Because it's dark outside anyway. So I think we'll be fine. Did we loot all these corpses in here? I wonder if we don't disturb the graves and maybe not loot all the corpses. If they'll say anything. But let's just... Fuck it, let's just loot. It doesn't look like we're grave robbing fully. Kinda. It's just ashes. Excuse me, ladies. Where the hell is the specters at? Creepy cave, though. Oh, there they are. 
Anything else? No. Look at all of them, friends. Whooped it. Geralt is two shotting the race here. Wow. Holy. Crazy, Geralt. You're getting so strong, man. This reminds me of Witcher 2, friends. Remember how we were, like, poking around in all the corpses in the crypt in that, in that game? We're just taking all the fucking flowers from their graves. Wow. I'm half expecting to... Remember, we had, like, the autopsy thingy majiggy in the second game? That was really interesting stuff. Florins... There was a book of the wild hunt on one of the corpses there too. I'm wondering if it's going to be the same, huh? Let's get our shield up. Come on. Get over here, ma'am. Get our trap down. Peace disturbed. There we go. Easy peasy. It looks like they have the crypts now. They can take whatever nails they want to take. But if... Maybe if they, like... Are they take the nails? The undead gonna get up and start walking around? No? Maybe? Probably not. Daystar! Alright, well, let's look at that sword. See what we got, friends. Oh, it's got the blood grooves. Oh, yes. That is a really cool one. Gonna put that one in my chest, too. Maybe. Alright, let's get back to the ladies. And turn this in. And then go on our trek to see if we can find some more. See if anything else pokes up. Pops up. Pokes up. I was thinking about the sword, you know, poking the enemies. That was pretty interesting, though. Talk to the woman waiting outside. What did she exactly say about the nails? We're gonna use it to make stuff? Technically, but why, though? Why disturb the dead by taking the nails? Greetings to you. And to you. It's done. Ghosts are gone. Took care of the ghosts. Crypt is safe. Thank you for your help, white-haired one. We'll make a sacrifice to Freya in your name. Anything for you, ladies. Alright. Well, that would be that. Really cool. We're almost going to... Oh, two XP. We're, we're getting there. I'm going to head over to this area now. Palisade. And look around and see, uh, see what's over there. Well, here we go. Immediately... Coming in, we got a uh, quest here. Look at a satchel. Get him, lads. What? Hey, man. Why you gotta? Let's dance. Let's fucking dance. Let's do it. Sucks to be you. And you too. Like, what was the point? Why are you going to try to kill me? You're just digging your own grave. Fifteen experience points? Well, there we go, friends. We got something. Alright, let's go up and down the roads here because I know for sure we did not go to this road, this road. I'm just thinking that we went around this area. Let's check this road first, then this road, and see if there's anything on these roads. If not, then we will make our very we'll make our way to see if we can find anything else. Come on, Roach. Get out of there. What are you doing, Roshi? Who in their right minds would 
trying to trick a witcher. I just don't understand it. Like, I really don't, friends. Be kind to witchers. I don't understand the whole wanting to trick them and try to take their stuff because it's not going to go over well for you. It really just isn't. Oh, well, there's definitely nothing here. Because I don't think there is. No, it doesn't look like there's anything here. We can keep trying to go on this road. And then jump off to the other road, but I feel like we may have actually went to this road. Nah, we didn't go to this road, but I don't think we actually... I don't think there was anything. We would have seen it because we were kind of close. This is where the succubus was, right? Oh, there's white wolves. Hop them, bro. There you go. Nothing here. Excuse me, white wolves. Look at Roach's moves. She's got moves, friends. Look, I can't believe all these wolves. Wow. It's so many of them. Alright, well, that would be that then. I don't think there's anything on these roads. Possibly, let's check these roads up here. I mean, we can check these ones. Did we ever check this road here? Because there looks like there may be something here? Possibly? I don't think we checked them once, but these are like nooks. I mean, we can go to every little single nook around the areas. But I feel like we probably won't end up finding anything. It could just be loot. It's just me running around blind. Is this the way? down to yeah this is the way down to here but what is this let's mark that see what that is we need more cat yeah this could be this looks like bushes nothing I don't know oh this is a cave I'm so happy we're doing this. We need to... I need to examine the map then. We need to examine the map a little bit closer because we might be able to find little caves. Like this looks like something. This looks like something here. We did them buildings. This may be something here. Possibly this There's just so much friends. There's just so much and it's just guesswork at this point for me It's literally like I said just guesswork Is that somebody in there Is that a person I can't take it anymore. Someone help me troubadour What's going on someone hate you no, 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 no. Quiet. Or she'll hear Who'll hear my beloved, beautiful as the morn and sweet as linen honey. Her grace, so delightful. <laughs> Don't seem all that delighted to me. Where is this beloved of yours? There in the depths, sleeping. But don't wake her by the gods! A bard's beloved? Is it a fucking vampire man? Or a water hag or something? You setting us up here? Geralt happened across a terrified bard who trembled when he spoke of his beloved. Yet other than that refused to say an ill word about the woman, even stranger. Everything seemed to indicate his betrothed lived in a cave. Geralt decided to check out what sort of curious couple he was dealing with. Wow. Alright. We're gonna check out a curious couple here, friends. It's definitely a fucking vampire. Oh, it's a, it is a water hag. I was fucking joking around, man. <laughs> oh, a sweet heart. Fresh and scrumptious. Tell me a rhyme, then you'll get a prize. Or a beating. Oh, you're as beautiful as... Oh my word, you're as beautiful as... <sighs> You're as lovely as... As what? As what? As rotten meat. And you're a monster. And I kill monsters. <laughs> Who 
your heck? See ya. Have a good one. Sorry about your wife. Your girlfriend. <laughs> what the fuck? I thought we were gonna say rhymes. Come on, Geralt. They should have went on with it, friends. I wanted to see more. I wanted to hear more of Geralt's rhymes. <laughs> Let's do it! Best fucking quest ever, friends. You know how much I love water hags. <laughs> Alright, come on. Sorry about your wife. Oh! <laughs> Bard ran off. Can't say I blame him. You really like that? Or was he just lit? Roach, you see this shit? Bard rolled out. <laughs> Alright, well, I think that would be that. The only other place for me to check is... It was mentioned of little islands over here to Giant's Toes, so I'm gonna do that. But I'm pretty sure I already checked out these islands. I'm just gonna do that and see what happens. And if there's nothing there, I will head over to Care Troll. We'll read a little bit and then we will head out. Alright, well, no, no luck at thing. the Giant's Toes. I definitely did not find anything over there. I swam up and down these islands. I literally just swam. And there was nothing. I don't know. If there's something there, I just could not find it. And while we're here, the... In the inventory here, let's go ahead and read our last little bit of books that we have, friends. We only have two left, and... Well, it's gonna be pretty awesome to actually get this done. So we'll start with Sov. Legend states that Clan Brockvar, based on the Isle of Speakerog, was founded by Sov. This hero took as his wife the lovely yet extremely quarrelsome Alula. He tried countless ways to tame her, but... Tame her? But no matter what lengths he went to, he could not get along with her. Finally, he sailed to Hendersvold to meditate in Hindar the Hallowed Grove. Imdal and Freya took pity on him and gave him the formula for a potion that would grant him understanding. They also instructed him to take a new approach, do something he had never done before to resolve his conflict with his wife. In order to gather the required ingredients, Sov had to kill a monster, climb the highest mountain in the Isles, and dive into the deepest undersea chasm. Then he prepared the potion, quaffled it, and searching for another approach to the conflict, began meditating while hanging from the tree Minselby? What the hell? That word is? One leg in this manner, he achieved enlightenment and returned to speak world to live with Alula in peace and harmony to the end of their days. Well, this is it, my friends. This is the last codex here. Wow. Heroes of Skellige Tyr. Clan Tyrsek, master of On Skellig, was founded by a hero named Tyr. Legend has it that to take possession of the land promised him by Hemdal, his father, Tyr first had to defeat a great and powerful bear named Yengvar. It was well known that no mortal had ever survived an encounter with Yengvar, so Tyr decided to prepare properly for the fight. He ventured into the deepest cave in Skellige and with the fire of the bowels of the earth as his furnace, he forged a blade so fine it could slice a hair lengthwise and so strong it could fell a hundred year old tree in one blow and not be dulled. Hewlin, his mother, engraved protective runes upon the sword by the first light of dawn so that it would protect Tyr from the bear's attacks. Yengvar was defeated, Tyr became master of Anskellig, and his descendants are one of the wealthiest and most powerful clans in the Isles to this day. There it is, friends, we did it. We have officially read every single book in the game to this point. I'm sure we will find more in our journeys. I could only imagine Ships that the DLCs... Hey, man, what did I do? But I can imagine that the DLCs will pack us full with many more books, much more lore to um, to it's read. Hard. But I would think that base game is pretty much done when it comes to books to read. Unless there's books on the way. But I'm just ecstatic that we 
actually read that. There was something that I forgot to read when we were dumping in here. I think it was Ermian stuff. Yeah. When persuasion and reason failed, Ermian would, as a last resort, turn to violence, and then he became a foe to be reckoned with. Madman Lugos found this out personally when, in a fit of rage, he attacked Ermian and Geralt. As they had in the past, Witcher and Druid stood side by side and fought a common enemy. Well, there we go. I believe that's it, friends. I believe. Oh, man, it's so weird. Do we have, we like have everything done. This is so strange. Okay, well, next episode, I am going to jump on a boat here. And I'm going to head my ass over the areas over here. Because, hold on. Where is the... Oh, okay. The... Interesting. Maybe we can knock it out this episode then. I thought the Easter egg was over in this area. But let's go over to this area. And check it out real quick before we actually head out. I'm pretty sure there it is. Yeah. There it is. There's Berna. Wow. Is she still alive? What's up, ladies? Oh my goodness. Come on. Hey, man. Take it easy. Let me get the... Golden Oriole, baby. Let's get a crossbow. Oh, so many of them. Come on, get down here. You know you want to fight. Man. Anybody else want some? Good griefy. That was a uh, lot of sirens. Yeah, there's definitely a corpse here. There's definitely something here. Burn a brand. Horrific death. Poor woman. Why did she? I mean, she was destined to die. I guess the best fate for her would have just went out with Brand then. Can we release her? She's dead though. Burn of Brand, a horrific death. Well, we would have found this out on our own if we didn't take out this um, question mark here. If we waited on that question mark, we definitely would have found this out. But I wonder if does her body decay in time? Because it's still kind of like her. She looks. She looks normal. Fresh, I guess that's the best word for it. All right, well, I still would like to, next episode, I would like to head to Caretrolled here, get a boat, and take the boat up in this uh, this area here. I want to check this coast. We never checked this coast here. And that would be that. We have the Sunstone friends. That's it. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to seeing what Philippa has in store. Missions with Philippa are always fucking comical. So that should be interesting. But anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Take it easy. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care.